Hey, how's it going? It's Walsh here, sick as always. Welcome to another episode of my Diablo 4 Hardcore Run. We are still playing the Blood Necromancer, and we are doing really well. As you can see, we're in Tier 7 Dungeons. The goal is to get, like, you know, Tier 10 or higher. It'd be really nice, uh, with the ultimate goal of hitting level 70. That way, we can switch over to World Tier 4, which is, I believe, called Torment. And that'll be awesome. I haven't seen anything for it yet. I don't even know what changes. Like, I know we got sacred items from Nightmare, but hopefully Torment gives us new stuff as well. Uh, as I said in my last video, I've had a ton of stuff going on in real life, so I've been playing here and there as much as I can. Sorry I'm not making as, the progress as fast as I would like to, but we're getting there. We're getting there, slowly but surely. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video, and uh, I'll see you near the end. So I've been mostly just doing sigil dungeons, doing the highest tier I can. I like to be uh, three levels higher. I've been experimenting with four, trying to compare the XP, but to be honest with you, it's kind of hard to tell. Maybe if I was, like, more intelligent or more patient and actually, like, wrote down, like, how much XP I had at the start and the stop. But I don't. I just kind of do it by looking at it, which is uh, a rough method. Those gloves aren't too bad. Uh, the main issue I'm having, like, I keep finding rares that are, like, okay and they might be an upgrade. But I can't really craft on them because you need a ton of Forgotten Souls. And I go through them very quickly. Luckily, though, we did find a pretty amazing helmet. Got that upgraded, and 397 life. Not too bad. I was running out of sigils, so I went and crafted some more. I don't really know what the difference between, like, sacred and ancestral are, but uh, I'm excited to find out. I'm almost wondering, like, because it's interesting, because I don't really know, like, what the strategy is. So I don't know if people are, like, as soon as they're level 70, going to tier 4. I don't know if they're farming to maybe level 80 or something before going to tier 4 worlds. I don't really know. What my plan is, is to do the dungeon, the capstone dungeon or whatever it's called. Run that with one of those like death elixirs or whatever it's called. And uh, see how that goes. And if I have no problem with the boss, I'm probably just going to jump right into tier 4 and hope for the best. And if I can do it fast enough, maybe I'll still have the death potion. So if I'm an idiot, it'll be okay. But uh, who knows? So my main gear upgrades I'm looking for right now are my uh, boots, my offhand, my gloves, and my rings. My rings are okay. But they could be a lot better. Unfortunately, the Hell Tide didn't give me any like good uniques or anything like that. But it did give me some Forgotten Souls, which I really need for crafting. I went and did a big gamble session with all my oboes, and uh, I got nothing. I mean, like, okay, okay, that's a lot. I didn't get nothing, but it's not great. <laughs> oh, it got crit actually. You know what? Okay, I lied. I got an upgrade. Okay, it's fine. I got an upgrade. It's pretty cool. Not too bad. I wanted to craft the amulet, but I didn't have enough stuff. But finally, I did some grinding and uh, got some more. Let's see what we get. It's going to have less DR no matter what, but... Compound Fracture. <laughs> that sucks. Well, I ended up switching to this amulet anyway, because even though it gives me less damage reduction, I really need clear speed, dude. I need clear speed so freaking bad. And that 9.6% movement speed is insane. Now, I just want to show you why I'm not too worried about losing some damage reduction. As you can see here, I keep getting, like, chain stunned, I get frozen, I get hit by the, you know, the Medusa eyeball, whatever it's called. And, uh, we're fine. My health never goes down. And I'm pretty happy with this character's defense. I don't know if it's gonna, like, drop off, like, horrifically when I hit the, uh, Tier 4 worlds. I'm hoping not. I'm hoping the, uh, scaling isn't that extreme. Uh, sorry, isn't that extreme? Sorry, my voice is messed up. But, uh... Hopefully we can do it. I would really like to get to Torment, level up faster, experience the end game. I mean, I guess I'm technically in end game right now, but you know what I mean. Like the real end game, like hitting the tier four, getting the hardest stuff you can do. Hit level 58, we are only uh, only 12 levels away. Don't worry. I definitely need to optimize my Paragon board a lot more, but I feel like I don't really have that many points to do a lot of like investing yet. So I'm just getting some basic stuff that I can use, you know, taking less damage from dots and like just getting little bits of more damage. So the only glyph I really have that helps me with that is that glyph you just saw back there. I think it's called Revenge. Uh, I will say, I, it feels like the higher tier dungeons I go, the more just raw items drop. And uh, I have to bank like a lot. <laughs> I found some decent gloves, so I try to craft on them and they hit pretty well. I mean, I'm going to lose a tiny bit of crit. But I'm going to gain a lot of attack speed, and attack speed is pretty wonderful for me for many reasons. Uh, I fought that druid boss for the first time. I don't know how many more bosses I haven't seen. I can't imagine it's many. But who knows? Maybe when you go to, like, tier 4, there's, like, a ton of new bosses. That would be great. I kind of doubt it, but you never know. 
So I was doing another Helltide, and I I did not know there was like mini bosses out in the world. But check this shit out. Ready? Everything's fine. There's a fucking giant scorpion. <laughs> Where'd you come from? I mean, luckily he was like a coward. He did no damage and he had no health. But I'm gonna be honest. When I saw those that giant ass like pincer charging across the screen, I thought I was gonna die. Like I keep seeing this boss when I'm doing hell tides. It's like level 72. And it's scary as hell, dude. So I ended up fighting this random, like, mini-boss during a Helltide event. Well, I mean, it was just an open-world event during a Helltide. Got to about halfway, and some random guy came up. And we, uh, finished it off. It's pretty nice. It was an easy fight. He didn't do any damage. He did have a lot of health, but, uh, that's okay. And we got trash loot. Nice. Thank you, uh, thank you very much. Got a mystery box here. My favorite ones. Yep, that's why. Three souls, a bunch of sacreds. Four elixirs? Okay. <laughs> I don't even know why I bother opening anything but the mystery boxes. Yeah, I didn't get any good items, but I mean, like, it drops so much shit. So my necromancers are purely SSF. I do play my druid, and, like, I'm experimenting with the other classes, playing with some friends, because, honestly, I never really get to play with any of my friends, because I'm always playing SSF. So it's been pretty fun. Uh, he went and did his Lilith altars, and I saw a world boss. Decided to go for it. It was a pretty easy fight. I used a Death Elixir because I am a coward, and I got no loot. Wow. <laughs> a chipped skull. Wow, thank you. So apparently there's only three world bosses? Makes me a little sad, but I mean, hey, it's okay. It's a start. It's a start. Hit level 59. Only uh, 11 levels to go. I found some pretty interesting pants. I know that's kind of weird to say, but I mean, that's what they are. They have uh, some interesting stats. Damage reduction, damage reduction, and damage reduction. Not too bad. Gonna go for the craft. Hopefully we get something better. And, uh... <laughs> I guess they're dead? I mean... I could enchant them again. Yeah, fuck it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was a waste of money. <laughs> that was a waste of money. Whatever, man. I don't even know if they can really hit anything else. But, uh, I decided to waste all my money. And that was pretty dumb. Opened up a tier 10, because I figured, you know, my bad luck must end here. And it did. Completed tier 10. Pretty proud of myself. Let's go. I think it goes all the way up to, like, tier 100, though. So I'm basically just starting. I don't care, man. I'm happy, okay? We got our revenge leveled up. We're having a good time. I finally got an offhand, and I decided to craft it because I haven't seen one in forever. And we got flat crit. It was a horrific roll of flat crit, but it also has damage reduction, which makes me very happy. Very happy indeed. I feel very tanky, and you're going to see coming up in a second that I am very tanky. I just need to increase my damage. Uh, as you can see here, we are fighting a butcher, and that man is uh, that man's a couple levels higher than me. <laughs> but it didn't matter. Like at first, I was trying to kite, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna dodge his like head button stuff like that. That nah, dude, I just face tanked it. No problem. Never used any flask. My uh, my main core skill actually outhealed his damage, so I'm pretty pretty happy with that. I don't I don't clear you know dungeons the fastest, but uh, I'm pretty tanky so far. Let's hope that continues going on to tier four. I got my first sacred legendary item. At least I think it's my first one. And uh, it sucked. It was garbage. But it sold for like 80,000, 90,000. Whatever, man. I need money. Also, those little sections that you saw right there, they give you no XP and no items. And I think that is bullshit. Anyway, we hit level 60. We only need 10 levels to go. I, I guess you can. I don't know if you could even enter the capstone at level 60. I might go check it out, but I don't know. Like, I don't really want to be, like, really greedy and stupid like before and just die like an idiot. Luckily, though, they have those death elixirs. That way, if you're an idiot, greedy person like me, uh, you know, you get a second chance. Sometimes. Hey, if man, as far in the video, I just want to say thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. We are almost level 61. Our uh, character is looking pretty decent. Our crit's getting up there. It's still pretty low. Crit damage is still pretty low. Overpower is pretty nice. Vulnerability still needs to get scaled up. I've been mostly focusing on defense right now. I have quite a bit of uh, damage reduction. It's pretty nice. We also have, you know, stuff like a uh, barrier and our basic skills grant us 20% damage reduction, which is really nice. I also put this on in, you know, I used to have like, I think a damage modifier on here, but if I get chain CC'd and start getting hurt, then I become unstoppable. Then I can get away and I don't always have to rely on using my blood mist which is really nice. Uh, on top of that, every time I hit stuff, I get armor, and it stacks up all the way to, like, almost 7,000, and it's it's pretty noticeable. 
Uh, I don't really have a great imprint on my boots. It's just this is just better than nothing for now. Nothing crazy. Weapons still the same. Offhand, you saw I got slightly upgraded. My main focus right now are my rings. I mean, this one's pretty nice. This one's kind of mediocre. I I mean, I, I, I take that back. I take that back. My rings are pretty nice. Now that I'm looking at them, I kind of thought they were shit, but they're not terrible. This one definitely needs crit. Flat crit is the main thing I need right now. And uh, our amulet's pretty sick. Anyway, I am sick as hell. I can't really talk very long. I apologize for that. Uh, my goal is just to keep farming on this character. I'm doing a bunch of sigils, using all my flask and whatnot, paying attention for hell tides. I only have... What do we got here? I've only got 20 souls, which those go by very quickly. All my other stuff is looking pretty decent. I got a ton of sigil power. Powder, power. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep doing uh, sigils, keeping my eye out for world bosses, doing hell tides every now and then, and hopefully we'll hit torment soon. Anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you later.